I'm Andy Bryce and I'm here with Fika Sivuzma. Um, Fika, first of all, um, why is it so essential that recruiting the best young talent remains among chemical um, producers' top priorities? For always, for every company, but also counts for countries, to develop your next generation, young people who can help you to lead your company in the next phase are important. You cannot stop for maybe a year, you can reduce a little bit, but you cannot stop for a longer period recruiting new people because then you get a gap in the development uh, in your company. So it's essential to remain connected with the next generation and to hire those people, train those people to lead your company into the future. And for companies to get access to the latest fuels in universities and schools. And would you say that the industry is heading towards a recruitment crisis? At this moment in the industry, we hire less people than, of course, we did uh, before the crisis. And you see many companies doing so. Uh, and maybe also our company is doing that a little bit less at this moment, uh, logically. But I'm convinced that you cannot do that for a longer period. For a year or maybe two years, it's doable, but you cannot hire for a longer period uh, no new recruits. Uh, so there's a good future for new recruits, because at the end of the day, companies need you. And what is DSM doing to attract new recruits and, and encourage young people into the industry? To stay connected with universities, with schools, um, especially on the technical discipline, chemistry, biology, physics, but also on the other disciplines in the financial, economic, MBA area, to remain connected to the schools, to remain connected to students. We organize courses for uh, people who are not yet graduated, to get acquainted to our company, to see whether they want to work for us, for us to view them, we give them guest lectures at universities, we do all kinds of projects at universities uh, together with other companies in order to show what our company can do and also in order to find who are the best recruits. And do you think as a whole the chemical industry is doing enough? I think we can and maybe should do more because you see it in most countries in uh, Western Europe that the number of people who choose for uh, so-called beta studies, so chemistry, physics, mathematics, biology, are reducing. And in Asia and Eastern Europe, they are increasing. And that is a dangerous development because also in our part of the world, we need people with technical studies and a technical background. And um, I think as an industry, we need to continue to make that clear to society and to uh, people in high school to choose for those studies too. Because in high school people make those um, choices uh, to go for which study. And I think we need to connect with those people too. Okay, thank you very much.